I'm a huge fan of Steven Soderbergh and I love learning about the behind the scenes of making the making of a movie. So for both of you, can you talk a little bit about what might surprise people to learn about the making of a Soderbergh movie? Um, I think people would find surprising that he, um, he holds the camera. He's the essentially the DP and also edits um, the film himself in post. I mean, I'm not sure if he has people that help him, but he's really on the editing floor doing all the back end work that most directors don't do. So I think that he's really like a one man army, like a, you know, he's, he really knows how to do it all. And um, yeah, he's just incredible. He, and even on set, he just, you know, he knows, he's knows what he's looking for. He knows when he got it and then we can move on. It's not a lot of repeating the same thing over and over, you know, and if something doesn't work, he has a new strategy immediately. You know, he's, he's just so great. Oh, oh no, I, I agree with that. I'm very intrigued with what's behind you. It's a distraction from, it's a distraction from this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, one of the things, Ray, I'll ask this of you, um, for, or for both of you, um, I, I was a big, I'm, I loved Ed Solomon's script for this, and I love the way it weaves in real history with um, these small-time criminals. Can, can you talk a little bit about what you responded to with the script, what you're excited for people to see? Well, just the whole movie in general, you're, you're reading the script, and you, you, know, you never know what's going to happen after, you, you know, all of a sudden someone turns left when you think they're going to go right. And it was just really interesting, all these characters, but there was a duality to, to a lot of what was going on. And then greed just gets more and more and more. So by the end of the movie, it, you see what the ultimate greed is, is, is because it what like you said, it, it, what, what, it, it's true in terms of what they were stealing and what the situation was that the auto uh, uh, industry didn't use when they could have which it infects everything probably even you go back that they get goofy but just climate change based on what it would be different if they didn't do or, or if they did what they were gonna that they should have done with what it is that that everybody's looking for to steal the thing that stood out to me the most and, and what i really sympathized a lot with with my character was just her place as a woman during that time period and how her worth and her value came from, you know, who she's married to. And, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, there was a glass ceiling for women, like you can excel, but only in this field or, you know, and so I love, and even in crime, there wasn't a big space for women. So I love that Vanessa's kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to, do the most extreme thing possible and I'm going to get what I want for once and not just be like a pawn in this game, you know, a, a arm candy for these guys. Um, and I don't think we see it come. I didn't see it coming when I read the script. And when she did that, I was like, yes, like she was just my hero. Um, so I, yeah, I, I, I hope that other people can sympathize with that as well. I, yes. Um, Ray, before, uh, uh, before I run out of time, I'm incredibly excited for David Chase's uh, The Many Saints of Newark, um, which I guess is finally coming out soon. Uh, what can you tease about that film? What, what are fans, what can fans expect? Well, it's really, really good. And because David wrote it, what it is, it's a prequel about the characters that, that you know from the, the show, The Sopranos, in the movie here, it's uh, you find out how it all started. Uh, James Gandolfini's character, which actually was played by his real son, uh, Michael, it's just really, it's just really good and, and interesting how those characters, he wrote it really smart and it's a movie into itself. You don't have to have seen all the Soprano shows to appreciate what happens here because it lives alone, but, but if you do know the show, you see them growing and, and what happened when they were young and how they got to where they are. On that note, I have to stop. I just want to say congrats on this movie specifically and have a fantastic day. Thank you, you Thank too. You.